As we mentioned last week, we are going to provide a brief overview of the SAMR and TPAC technology integration frameworks as we lay the foundation for the rest of this video series. So what is SAMR? SAMR was developed by Dr. Ruben Pentadura to show the impact of technology on teaching and learning. S stands for substitution, where technology acts as a direct tool substitute, but with no real functional change. Think of a worksheet on a computer. A stands for augmentation, and is the same as substitution, but with some functional improvement. Think of that same worksheet on a computer with visual, audio, or predictive tools. M stands for modification, and is where technology allows for significant task redesign. We no longer have a worksheet, but use an adaptive app that provides different problems based on the level of the student. R stands for redefinition, and is where technology allows for the creation of new tasks previously inconceivable, such as a way to create, share their understanding, or collaborate with others. SAMR is the first and most well-known framework, and there are many versions of this framework on the internet that try to help people to understand. Teaching above the line, enhancement to transformation, SAMR and Bloom's taxonomy, and one of the more creative variants, SAMR and Starbucks. Many people love this framework because it classifies the levels of technology integration. However, there are some that criticize this framework for being app-driven and pushing teachers to teach above the line and transform every lesson to use technology. Many feel that the SAMR model begins with the technology instead of starting with the learning objectives. This is where the TPAC framework comes into play. So what is TPAC? TPAC was developed by Kohler and Mishra from Michigan State University and is a way of thinking about what teachers need to know about technology. T stands for technology knowledge, how can technology help students in learning. P stands for pedagogical knowledge, how to teach it. A stands for and. C stands for content knowledge, what to teach. And K stands for knowledge of these three areas. Simply put, TPAC means what to teach, how to teach it, and can technology be a helpful tool in the learning outcome. The positive of this framework is that it starts with the learning standard and then asks, would technology be an effective tool to achieve the learning outcome? Allow me to provide an example of these two frameworks using my favorite unit in life science, frog dissection. If a teacher were to use the SAMR model and start with a technology tool to teach frog dissection, they would download the frog dissection app and have students use the app to slice open the frog and identify the parts of a frog. The teacher may even see some improvements to class management, safety, and supply costs. Think about it, no need to purchase actual frogs, no smells, no exacto knives, no screams about how disgusting it is. If a teacher were to use the TPAC model, they would start with the learning objectives, which would include identifying the parts of a frog, but may also include college and career readiness for students wanting to pursue a career in the medical profession. Readiness in this area may include fine motor skills, real world experiences like cutting into flesh, the ability to work in a lab with all the smells. Technology may be a supplemental tool to have alongside, but utilizing actual frogs would do a much better job in achieving the learning objective. The truth is, both frameworks have their place, and next week we will share a variation that utilizes both frameworks and more clearly defines the purpose of technology in education and more aligns with the District 47 philosophy of technology in instruction.